Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great and welcome back to the second episode of SQL for Data Analysis. I am super excited that we're continuing this learning journey together. In today's episode, we're going to dive into some of the basics and key definitions of SQL. These are super important to help you understand this language better and make sense of all the new terms. And ultimately, it's going to help you write cleaner and more effective code. So I know some of you guys might be already familiar with these basics, but it's worth sticking around and watching it until the end. There's always something new to learn. So let's get us started. All right, so the first question that might come to your mind is that why do I need to learn SQL for data analysis? Is it something necessary to know when it's come to the data analysis? Of course it's not. You can do data analysis with other tools like Excel, Power BI, Python. But what about SQL? I'm going to explain to you guys the step-by-step -step reasons why you need to know and why you need to learn SQL for data analysis. So the first question that I'm going to ask you guys is that do you know that what database do most companies use? Like I'm talking about web-based company. There might be some companies that actually uh, process and gather and maintain their data using other methods, but I'm talking about web-based and web application companies. They're actually uh, mostly using something called relational database, right? Okay, so what is relational database? Relational database is a structured way of storing data in rows and columns within tables that uses SQL for querying and managing that data, right? And uh, relational database is a common type of database that nowadays most web-based companies are using. So you might be asking, okay, uh, we found out that relational database is, is the place that stores uh, companies' data, but who offers and provides this database? There are also actually some platforms and brands like MySQL, Oracle, or PostgreSQL that offer and provide uh, database, relational database to this company. So MySQL, it's a, very, uh, it's a free and it's an open source uh, database system management that we're going to proceed learning and stick this uh, software for learning. And uh, MySQL is going to be suitable for small businesses and Oracle is going to be suitable for uh, large businesses. And PostgreSQL uh, is another one actually offers some exciting feature for database management. There are a bunch of more like um, a MongoDB or Microsoft SQL Server. And all of these actual relational database uh, are SQL based. So, so you know that why SQL is so important and very common language for all of these actual databases? It's because it's a free and open source, right? So it's a free to use, it's a free to learn, and it's a tool that is being used to store and manipulate data, which you're going to find out uh, better throughout learning. And it's compatible with all sort of uh, relational databases, like MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, actually all of these are going to be compatible with SQL. And it's uh, flexible for data handling and, and it's efficient, actually, for querying, uh, sorting, filtering, and managing data. So these are some very important benefits of SQL. And what is going to be conclusion? So the conclusion is going to be like this. So considering that the biggest companies use SQL, so you as a data analyst need to learn SQL for data analysis. So hopefully you guys found out uh, these uh, step-by-step -step reasons that are illustrated for, you, illustrated for you guys. And also I brought a picture that demonstrates to you what the skills are frequently asked uh, from a data analyst by employers. And employers prefer to hire someone who knows SQL very well. You see that the SQL is the first based on the priority in 2024. So that leads me to a very important question, what is SQL and how is it used? See, SQL stands for Structure Query Language. It's a special language used to communicate with relational databases. It helps you ask questions from a database to find, add, update, or delete data. So let's say uh, we have a shoe sales database. So we can use SQL for things like finding information. Let's say, for example, we're going to find all shoes in size 9. So we can query simply uh, to find all shoes in size nine, or we're gonna add information. We're gonna update information, change the price of running shoes to $100. Deleting information, we can remove the shoes that are out of stock. So these are four uses of SQL that might sound very simple. And you might be saying that, okay, 
Excel can do all that, all that too. So why should I learn? Uh, why should I learn SQL when I can use Excel easier? The thing is about uh, SQL uh, is that, well, uh, I brought some ca very important capabilities from both uh, SQL and Excel. We see that all of these capabilities that I mentioned here, including data size handling, data storage retrieval, data integrity, querying, scalability, collaboration, data relationships and joints, advanced data operations are going to be done by both S Excel and SQL. But the thing is that makes SQL special that SQL does it better when dealing with large amounts of information data sets. So SQL is faster at finding, sorting, and analyzing data, and it's great for handling complex relationships between different sets of data. So SQL is going to be definitely recommended for large amounts of data, for better performance, for better speed, for uh, even for better management for analyzing data sets. So in this episode, you found out some of the very basic points about the SQL. And from the next episode, we're going to start installing MySQL and uh, checking the interface of MySQL and start coding. So see you in the next one. Peace.